you know, unification of physics is, is very large, um, you know, circle to put your arms around. And uh, the, the complexity can get very high and, you, and it's not necessarily obvious um, how to, you know, because it's unifying, um, it's, it, it has a lot of, it has a lot of uh, circular motions in it, if you'd like. Uh, not, that it, not that the equations are circular, like in terms of, um, in terms of their rigor, they're not. Um, but, but the way the information is floating, it's this complex relationship between all the information and to put it into a linear form that can somebody can follow and, and not get lost is, is challenging. So it's taking some time and I'm, uh, but the formalism is beautiful and what we found is beautiful uh, and it's very precise and it's, uh, and it's saying something deep that, um, that you know, many more papers will need to be written on it. Uh, this is really the like a really good foundation for it, but it it's saying something deep about relationships um, of scales and forces that um, that clearly shows um, that really it's all one thing and that it, 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 it's like the gears of that one thing. And we've called the gears different things, right? Because they seemed unrelated, for instance. And that's one of the complication in writing that paper is that I have to work within the convention of what has been written before, right? So, so, so gears that are linked together uh, that may have been called gravity and electromagnetic fields and the weak force and the strong force um, were described separately as if they were not part of the same gearing system. And so when you put the gears together, um, then these definitions change. Um, and you, you start to see that it's like, it's not four forces, it's just, a fundamental pattern of flow of information. It's a fundamental pattern of uh, of uh, pressure relationships in a in a in a in the flow of information of the universe. Now, when you when you start to describe the forces in terms of flow of information in the universe in the in the quantum field, um, then uh, you know, the boundary between one definition and another of these forces become blurry because these definitions are somewhat artificial. And so you have to, uh, because they've, they've been defined not knowing that they were all the same thing. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. um, so, to rearrange that so that the gears mesh and they all work together and everything flows and, and, the, and the reader can understand, you know, the, the conceptual notions uh, without being too jarring to the previous definitions is, been, is challenging. Um, but it's coming, <laughs> it's coming very well and it's exciting. And definitely, uh, it, you know, will lead to a whole new development in, in scientific inquiry of our, of our world, of the material world, and eventually of the instances of, con on, of consciousness and awareness, um, how the information flow across the scales, what are the forces that defines them from one scales to the other? And then how is the information complexity eventually produce self-awareness or feedback? And that, you know, is, it's nice to see it come out. It's nice to see it emerge. 
Great. Wow. That is a all encompassing opening statement. <laughs> <Awesome>. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, really you spoke to the, the importance of understanding this, getting it into the world. So more and more people can have a more clear understanding of the nature of our experience of reality. And, um, and as well, you know, the implications of what that means in our world, some of the technological shifts and, um, and then ultimately that unification. And uh, I think one of the interesting aspects of the challenge that you're highlighting there with the paper is in a way it requires turning on a different part of your mind to be able to think holistically and sort of transcend parts to look at the whole. And uh, for, for many people, especially in academia, who haven't really been studied in that or exposed to it much, or uh, and certainly trained in some way in that, and especially given the entrenched definition space that is, is what's being worked with there, um, I can see that would be quite a challenge to figure out a way to, to use language, use words to convey something that really can only be understood and a more synthesis, you know, a synthesis of ideas as a whole uh, while using the same <laughs> language. So exactly. No small feat there. <laughs> yeah.